Hello, I just wanted to do a quick video on our diaper stash, our cloth diaper stash, and also how we organize everything. This right here is our cloth diaper changing station. And uh, just I'll just start at the top up here. Uh, up here on this little shelf that we installed, well, I didn't install it, <laughs> my husband installed this. Um, it's just one of these wall mounting shelves. We have a Noah's Ark theme in Caleb's room. So we have this little, they came two by two that we were given. Uh, but Caleb is 16 months and we have been cloth diapering since he was, exclusively since he was about six weeks old. So up here, <clears throat> This is our wipes case, and uh, this I got at Home Goods, I believe, for I think like $12.99 or something like that. It's actually made for disposable wipes. It has this little orange insert that goes in it, and it's weighted so that when you use it with disposable wipes, uh, it actually weights down the wipes so you don't pull out 10 wipes <laughs> every time you do it. Um, we use cloth wipes for the most part. <clears throat> uh, these are almost all just baby washcloths that I got at, you know, Target or Meyer or uh, even like TJ Maxx or something like that. I do have these handmade ones that I made right here, just flannel and minky. And really all I use for a cloth wipe solution is uh, water. <laughs> and so uh, it's pretty simple. Put that back up here. And also we have up here some coconut oil. I have in a little Medela bottle. And uh, this is good for just kind of everyday diaper rash prevention and if it starts looking a little bit red. But through, let's see, this is December, pretty much the entire month of, months of September and October and some of November we struggle with crazy diaper rash and I could not figure out why but after trying so many things I finally tried this diaper rash and thrush um, salve by mother love and it is amazing it's like it works on contact it's incredible how well it works uh, it's $9.95 for one of these little let's see one ounce containers but it works so great and a little bit goes a long way uh, uh, this made me think maybe he had a yeast rash or something, but this is the third thing we've tried after two antifungals that didn't work. So um, this is the stuff. Finally, we found something. <laughs> and up here I have just a spray bottle full of water to wet wipes extra if I need to. And also this is the California Baby Non-Burning and Calming Diaper Area Wash. And I'll use that sometimes on his wipes if I want a little extra cleaning and maybe a nice, nicer smell if his butt really, really stinks. Uh, so that's really good for, um, for the diaper changing table. And we just have on here just a um, velour, minky, whatever, uh, changing pad cover. And down here, on the lower level, is this little basket. And these are just some little accessories. But we have our hand sanitizer, of course. And this is the Bum Genius Odor Remover Spray. I don't use this directly on diapers. I just spray it in the diaper pail um, after every couple of diaper changes to keep the stink down and this is just some baby lotion these are some bummies biosoft liners i don't really use them very much at all because our diaper creams are pretty much cloth diaper safe um we have some more coconut oil this was upside down obviously and some california baby love everything california baby i just wish i could afford all of it um, but this is the calendula cream this is great for caleb's eczema whenever it gets bad and then I also use this for his eczema every now and then, some hydrocortisone and alcohol swabs. Those are really just in here from when he was a newborn, still had his diaper, I mean his um, umbilical cord stump. Um, also on this level, uh, we have this basket. We got this one and this one right here at the container store, and they are perfect for his diapers. For the most part, we use flat diapers, um, oh so cozy, bird's eye unbleached flat diapers put into diaper covers as his diapering solution now. We do have some pre-folds, these are also oh so cozy. And I just pretty much stack 
all of his <laughs> diapers in here. You can see also I used some flannel receiving blankets as diapers as well. Here's a pre-fold and a snappy. We just have um, a few of those. But for the most part, when I put diapers on him, we just pad fold them in covers. Okay, and this looks kind of haphazard. Well, because it is, <laughs> but mostly, like I said, we use flat diapers with uh, with diaper covers that make it make them waterproof. And our favorite cover is the flip cover. This is actually um, the Albert print. I saw it online; it was cute, and then I got it home, and it is just adorable. I love it. So I have this in snaps. Also have it in the Velcro, and. Now, this is not our entire diaper stash. We do have some things in the laundry. And this is a green flip diaper cover. We actually have two of these um, in this color. And then I have a light green one with the Velcro. And an Econobum cover. These are so good, especially for $9.95. They work so, so, so well. And I actually still use one of our Bum Genius pocket diapers as a cover. Um, I find that with my mother-in-law and then when I take him to church or wherever, they're more comfortable with Velcro closures. And so I just kind of save this. Yeah, I don't really stuff it. And just a couple other random things. I have a snappy contour diaper. These are actually really cool and I can't find them anywhere else. I got this at a consignment sale. And uh, really, it's it's like a, a towel material with a soaker sewn in. And it says it fits 12 to 24 months, which really means nothing when it comes to diaper sizing. But all you do is secure it with a snappy, and it works really, really well. Um, but if you're not comfy with a snappy, you may not be comfortable with this. Also, I got this at a consignment sale too, and it is a Tots Bots Bamboozle. They don't make this kind of diaper anymore in snaps. They make it in Velcro now, um, but it's actually a really nice diaper too. And uh, so I can open it. But these are like 20 bucks, and I'm not gonna spend 20 bucks on a diaper. This is staining from the previous <laughs> owner. Um, we haven't really worn it, that, or my, uh, my son hasn't really worn this very much at all, but it's actually a really nice diaper. It's pretty bulky, but it absorbs a ton, like a lot of liquid. And right here is a fitted diaper that I made myself. It's kind of a mess. It was totally experimentation, but um, I thought it turned out kind of cute, even though it may be pretty rough. I have a soaker that I sewed in here, and I don't use it that much, but... Hey, it's absorbent and it works. <laughs> okay, so that's um, our covers. <clears throat> and down here, I'll just sit down on the floor and go through this. Down here we use mostly pocket diapers for overnight. And uh, the, the reason why I pretty much gave up on pocket diapers with microfiber uh, not too long ago was that we were having terrible, horrible stink issues from the I guess detergent buildup or ammonia buildup in the microfiber and I just I was so done with it and so I really just used the pocket diapers for uh, overnight this is a thirsties duo diaper this is a sleeve diaper which is cool because the insert actually agitates out oh that looks so bad it needs to be sunned uh, the insert uh, agitates out in the wash this is actually a good microfiber because it is so very thin so it washes really well um, but it's also attached uh, snapped to a cotton hemp uh, insert <clears throat> and uh, so that washes pretty well so we use this for overnight if i were to do it again i probably would not get the velcro or the aplex because it doesn't stick very well. And I've only had these for less than a year. This is a Knicker Nappies pocket diaper that I got at consignment and it's a side snapping diaper and um, it works, it works okay. But it has a microfiber insert that we, that I got af actually after we uh, quit using all the Bum Genius microfiber inserts. 
This is a Bum Genius pocket diaper actually stuffed with a flat, so we don't have the stink issues with that. This is a fancy pants diaper. This is also a pocket diaper, but it is stuffed with a cotton bird's eye flat diaper. These are actually super, super cute. Um, they're basically this, well, pretty much the same as your Alva Baby or your Sun Baby or your Kawaii's. Um, they actually fit my son's legs a lot better than the Bum Genius. And right when we were going through the transition of loving pocket diapers and hating them, <laughs> we actually got some Alva Baby <laughs> diapers and these we just use for overnight. And I do use the microfiber insert with these because they don't have any detergent buildup on them now. Um, but we got these really cute ones. We got three of them. There's only two in the, in the um, box right now and this really cute one as well. These are Alba Baby. These were like $8.99 each, I think. And here's another Thirsty's Duo Diaper, the same thing that you saw earlier. And in here we have, I believe, 11 Econo Bum prefolds, which I didn't like at all at first. I almost sold them. But now that my son is about 20 pounds, they actually... Um, pad fold pretty well for nighttime or overnight and a cover uh, and they're super they're still super bulky not as bulky as when he was a newborn that was ridiculous they are not one size they are so far from being one size um, but they actually work pretty well pad folded in a pre in a cover uh, so we'll use those from time to time and back here I have some fleece liners that I just cut up and when we we're going through the whole diaper rash phase we use those pretty much all the time uh, however learn the hard way that liner or no liner you're going to get diaper cream on your diapers so that was a hard lesson to learn um, but anyway moving on next over here we have our pack of just in case, <laughs> disposable diapers. And these are from Whole Foods and they're chlorine free diapers, size three, and there are 36 in them. This package was actually $9.95 or $9.99. And they're chlorine free diapers. They are not fancy at all, which is good, <laughs> which is fine. There's no cutesy little designs on them or anything like that. They're just plain white and they're, they're kind of thin. Uh, but I've only, I think, put one or two on him, and um, they've worked just fine. The thing that I was really impressed with was that they were only $9.95 for 36 diapers, which is what I would pay for Pampers. So I thought that was a pretty good deal, considering we only use them every now and then. Uh, down here, I have a wet bag back there that I made, and this is a changing pad cover and some white cases down there and that orange thing is the the little insert that goes in the um, diaper wipes case that I bought the little weighted thing that keeps um, keeps you from pulling out a whole chain of wipes so that's the table and now we have our diaper pail and this is just a Rubbermaid flip top garbage can and inside we have a yellow planet wise pale liner that I got at Black Friday. You can see with some dirty diapers in there. I have a Fuzzy Buns and an Alva Baby diaper in there and plus some other things. And the, the, the liner works pretty well. We're actually using these Glad bags for a while and then I was just uh, not really changing it every time like I should. But this way it kind of makes me change it because I have to wash it. So that is pretty much everything and our diaper changing station. Uh, leave any comments or questions below. Thanks.